What's up, y'all? It's Block Boy Fame. Today, we are going to deep box the Throne Goon, Block Boy Fame Signature Edition. We're going to deep box this bad boy so uh, you guys know exactly what you get when you order it. And I'm going to show you how to put it together the right way. Let me get my knife here. Uh, if you're young, please be careful. Have a parent open it for you. You might not need a knife. I needed one in my case. It's taped down. I can smell how 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 new the tires is right when I bust him open. Man. You might need help getting him out. Yeah. We got him in there tight. Oh shit. All right. After the ah. and he's out. So I want to put him on the bike rack. So I'm gonna detach the wheels, which are zip tied to the frame. It comes secure in the box. And here. Actually, it'd be smarter. It'd be smarter to detach everything in the way. All right, so we're going to take off all the foam to expose the beautiful paint that's here, the goon that's here, block boy fame signature that is here. And you know this wouldn't be possible without them. Throne that is. Show that beauty. This isn't the only color though. It comes in black and it also comes in chrome, but this is my signature. I chose Dodger Blue because I did this for the city. I wanted something that we in the West can ride around on and, you know, put on for the city. So that's why I chose the color for anybody that was wondering why I chose blue. Fire, huh? Fire. Custom seat. Two wall gang logo. I'm not sure if you can see it over there, but two old gang. Got the throne on there. Get your seat on there. I'm not sure how anybody else likes to ride it, but some people like riding it high, some people like riding it low. On this type of bike, I like riding it at a good pace, not too high, not too low. I still want a good extension out of my legs when I'm riding. You're gonna fix that slant on that seat. But some people slant the seat because when they really, the higher up, you know, you're leaning off the back of the bike. So with your seat slanted that way, you'll be sitting still in the bike on your wheelie. So this isn't a bad thing. It's just for whoever, if you wanna ride like that, you know what I'm saying? If, if you really like that like that, then that's not a bad thing to have your seat like that. But I'ma just bring it back just a little bit. It's leaning way in for me. That's that part. I guess we'll move to the handlebars. The bike definitely comes with brakes on it. It is set for fixed gear, but the hub is flip-flop. It has the option, it has to, you, could, you could get a freewheel hub and put it on there. It has the space for it, so. If that's your thing, you could do that. Me personally, Fixie Goon, Fixie Montana, I ride fixed, so that's why the bike is coming fixed. And of course, safety first, it come with a brake as well. I don't want nobody out there getting hurt. 
So it definitely needed a break on it. If you uh, decide to do what you do with that, then you do what you do with that. The front of the bike has a nice gold badge on the front, the goon mask, which is, I feel kind of like it's the chain of the bike because I wear a gold chain, so I wanted my bike to have something nice on it too. So let's get your handlebars on there. We'll get those locked right in for you. I like to have mine same kind of slant with the fork. I guess everybody's different. I like mine to be even with the fork though. And make sure on your handlebars when you tighten it down, make sure you get it extra tight because you don't want to be riding, trying to willy or coming off a curb and your handlebars go down on you like that. That's um, never nothing nice. And we're gonna put the front wheel on, the big, big 29 inch, huh? It's the big boy right here. It's the big boy. Also come with the dice for the, uh, the air cap. You know, thought that was actually a dope, a dope, 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 dope situation, the dice. And the fork has a little extra lock just to hold you in in place on here so if you line it up correctly you should have your little safety little washer lock on here get you right in the right space make sure you put an extra little tightness on there you definitely don't want front wheel coming off while you riding or kind of willy definitely gonna hurt let's see what else pedals next I'm sure it's in this box oh these two your goon bike should come with the straps you know uh, these are gonna keep you safe out there for those who don't wanna ride with brakes. Cause I know me personally, I took my brakes off so I ride with these, I ride with straps. So for those who don't use brakes, we definitely come with straps as well. And come with pegs for anybody that does any type of tricks involving pegs. We have them here, or if you, uh, you know, they can be used just to commute with the homies. Somebody ain't got a bike, somebody get a flat tire, he can hop on the pegs. But you definitely get pegs with your bike. And these are your pedals. I will show you how to put them on, even though it's not that hard. All right. So for those who have never put a bike together before, each pedal is marked with right and left. So you'll see an L for left or R for right. So your right one, you obviously will put it on your right side of your bike, your left one on the other side of the bike. Uh, if you're having a problem with putting it in, it might be because you're not lining up the sides right. I know so if you line up wrong, you might have a problem trying to squeeze it in. I mean, screw it in and you could possibly strip what's going on inside of there. So check, it, check the inside, it's gonna tell you left and right. I didn't tell you guys before, but the bike comes with an actual tool. This tool can be used for everything on the bike, except for anything that needs the Allen keys, which is the handlebars. But you got, you can use this for the pedals, to put your pedals on. 
You can use these for any of the bolts inside of the bike. Anything on there, you can use this tool for. Right now, we're gonna use it to definitely put on the pedals. Make sure you, you make sure you really, really, really tighten that down because the worst thing ever would, to, would be to be riding and your pedal just come off while you ride. I could only imagine because it's never happened to me. So, and if you are, usually it's, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. When you're putting the left one on, if you're turning to the right and it doesn't go on, it's because you need to turn to the left to put it on. Put a little extra oomph on that. These are straps. We're gonna put the straps on for you. I'm gonna show you how to put them on properly so that you can have some type of restraint system to keep you safe. When you put these in here, the one in the back will go first. And I usually like to make like an X just so that it holds tighter. You know, it, you know it's the, the hold is there. That's what I usually like to do. I, I make this so it's, it's there, you know? And like I said again, if you, if you decide to put the free wheel side on there, you won't even need the straps because you'll be using your brake and you'll be on free wheel. And there it is, people. This is the Throne Goon 29 inch fixed gear bike. Block Boy Fame Edition. You know, it comes ready fresh out the box for you. Once you put it together, you can hop right on it and, 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 and start doing whatever you want to do. So, you know, that's it.